edition of Jofo in the Ring. And yes, my name is Frank Jofo, and we got a special guest, the hardcore <laughs> legend himself, the Green Phantom. What's going on, buddy? How you going, brother? What's going on, man? Nice to uh, see you guys. Hey, I'm excited Maybe. to have you on again. I, I wasn't here for the first time, but uh, my co-hosts, Jeremy Prophet and Kyle Morin, were here for the first time. Uh, going back to that, going back to that the interview, how are things going for the for the Green Phantom uh, since then? Uh, so far, so good. You know, I'm still hanging and banging, still rocking and rolling, still getting with the green every single day, every single day way, baby. Uh, I got the new cape and the new shape, and I'm uh, I'm I'm banging and ready to go, baby. So the last the last event at uh, Blood, Sweat, and Beers. You were supposed to end. You were end up. You were supposed to end up fighting a sexy Eddie in that four way, but something uh, something happened. Nevertheless, you ended up fighting Eddie Falco, uh, Matt Fal Eddie Falco, Matt Falco, Alex Silva, and Macri Martin. How was that match for you? Because that that honestly, that was an unexpected. Well, not a, not an unexpected because I know you're a hardcore legend, but there was some there was some tables uh, that were taken out there, and some people were going through those tables. Can you describe that match for us? Uh, well, it was uh, it was very unexpected. Uh, from what I go into the night uh, thinking one thing's going to happen, and then uh, three other uh, dudes get put in this match. So uh, I had to do what I had to do. I had to put my boots on their faces, and I had to slam them through some doors, baby, because that's that's what I do. Uh, you step in the ring with me, you're going to feel it the next day. Guaranteed Alex Silva feels it, feels it the next day. Guaranteed McCray Martin. Uh, one of them ate the Phantasm, the other ate the Phantom Menace through a nice painted green door. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Matt Falco uh, got the better of me by uh, swooping me out of the way and stealing the pin on uh, McCray Martin. So, uh, but I got to give him props, you know, because uh, he's smart. He's smart enough to get that win. But the thing is, now he's not so smart because he 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 came to he came to the realization that he kind of stole the win, and he, and he wants to be a man about it. You know, he's a, he's a company man. He has a he's a he's a he's a beer uh, beer maker, and because I'm a great great customer of this beer, uh, he says something to the effect of, you know, the customer is always right, and uh, he wants to do right by me. I mean, I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, and I can't throw him that far because he's taller than me, that motherfucker. Uh, but he's agreed uh, for, for his own misfortune, but good on him uh, to give me a, a, a rematch, if you will, a rematch for that number one uh, contendership for that shot at the Canadian title. Because when I got my new shape and my new cape during this COVID, I had to, I had to have a goal. And one of my and one of my biggest goals, not only to come back better and hardcore than ever, uh, but I wanted to become a Grand Slam champion. Uh, that Canadian title is something that has evaded me, and when I get it, I will be uh, an IWS Grand Slam champion. So, Matt Falco, thank you for opening this path, opening the door on the way to what I feel is uh, God's green destiny, baby, and that's for me to the Canadian title. So I got to beat up Matt Falco next show. And I think, uh, I don't think he, he expects me to beat him because he so willingly gave me this match. Uh, <laughs> at, but he's, he put on his number one contender on the line. So when I get that, uh, I don't want to overlook this giant that is Matt Falco, but uh, I'm coming for that belt. Well, you know what? In the end, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it's a lot. Uh, uh, not to say it's a lot easier because I'm not a wrestler, but to say a one-on-one -on -one match for the number one contendership is a lot easier for both of you in that match to to win in the end because you don't have to worry about outside interference like we saw in the last of, last event. So maybe you you versus Matt Falco in this match might might give you that shot at the Grand Slam. Yeah, yeah, and more importantly for the fans. You got two of the biggest dudes slobbing meat hammers at each other. I'm telling you, this is going to be a big-time banger of a match. And it is a street fight, which is just what I love to do, you know, taking out the furniture and bashing his fucking tall-ass <laughs> brains in. I should have been a, a lumberjack because I'm going to look at that big, tall tree trunk, baby, and I'm going to chop him down at the legs, chop him down at his hips, 
chop his body up into little pieces, put him through a table. One, two, three, baby. That's what it's going to go down to. Even though he's a big, strong guy, I think I'm bigger and stronger. You know, and I have I, the power of the green, baby. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to say something right now. I, I, I ended up recording that that uh, match that night. I have a couple of uh, highlights here if you want to uh, jump in here. Because honestly, I have to say, I, I, unfortunately, I've never seen your entrance live. This was the first time ever I've seen your entrance live. And I'm going to just show you the reaction of the crowd here. And I'm going to tell you, it was amazing. Yeah, baby. No, Those I got. Eh? <laughs> I, I gotta say, him, baby. Him. <laughs> I gotta say because there was a, there was a Jeremy Prophet. He told me he goes when when I come out for my match, I want you to throw some some uh, some what do you call those those sparklers those uh, those uh, the streamers. So I'm like, I've never done that before, you know. And when I saw your your entrance and the collaboration of the people that did it for you, that was on top of uh, the best entrance I've ever seen live in my life. How do you how do you how do you figure all that out with it? How, how many people were in the crowd throwing streamers for you there? <laughs> I don't know, man. The, the, the fans do what they want to do. I definitely suggest it and help it along, uh, but for the most part, uh, the fans are doing doing what they love. They love me, and uh, they're they're more than happy to to throw a a streamer my way. And uh, and it feels damn good, man. The reception I get in Montreal is just uh, it's bonkers, man. It, it makes it makes it all worthwhile, if you will, brother. It was uh, it was amazing. Well, that was the first time uh, wrestling has been back in almost about a year now, and I'm sure everybody was excited in the IWS. Um, yeah. Besides, besides the Grand Slam, I know that's a that's a big moment for you. Is there anything else you want to accomplish in the IWS? I've already done it all, brother. I mean, um, j just just listen to that to that crowd. See those streamers, you know. Um, there's really not much. So once I get that title, you know, I, I might have to reevaluate a few things in my life uh, because I, I would have in some ways reached that pinnacle. Uh, and, you know, being at the, you know, the best shape of my life, best wrestler I am of my life uh, at my ripe age, um, you know, I, I'll have to evaluate uh, what's going to happen. But uh, and I, I don't want to get distracted from my immediate goal, you know, which is put belt over here and so <laughs> so once i once i get through that ask me that question then i might think about it but for now i'm just have one one track mind baby it's a green hardcore highway and that goal is coming home not for nothing if, if you do win the canadian title it, will you ever turn it into a green title like a, your own green title is that ever? I mean, it, it would it would automatically be that, baby. <laughs> I mean, wherever I go, it, it's turned green. You know, uh, whenever I'm I'm waiting back backstage in a show, wherever I am, it's the green room, baby. Wherever I go, it's green lights. <laughs> wherever I go, it's growth and the future. Green means go, baby. So, so I went to the archives of uh, the IWS and I, and I stumbled upon a match at Unstoppable where you fought Matt Tremont and Nick Gage. Yeah, now, yeah. It, it seemed to me, because you, uh, you, you ended up winning that match, but it seemed to me that you, didn't, you, didn't, you weren't too happy about that win. Can you explain to us, if you want to, what, what the yeah, situation uh, was that, it, that, that night? Uh, the, the match, I mean... I'll always take a W over two legends, and I mean absolutely legends of this of the deathmatch world uh, that is in Matt Tremont and, and Nick Gage. Although I, I already uh, I, I did battle a bunch with, uh, with with Matt Tremont over the years. We've had a few matches, and way back in the day when I first went to CZW, I actually stayed over at Nick Gage's house on a, on a couple of occasions. Oh, wow. Uh, and we never had the chance to actually battle it out and, and carve each other up. Um, so the only the, the, the thing about that match is that, you know, although, uh, although I did uh, end up 
scoring a pinfall on Matt Tremont, I still wanted to get get it on with both gentlemen a little 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 more. I thought uh, I thought Matt Tremont, in, in all honesty, would have kicked out of that move. He didn't, uh, so I didn't get to beat him up more, and I didn't get to beat up Nick Gage anymore, and he didn't get to beat me up anymore. So that was uh, kind of disappointing in that, you know, I go all the way down to uh, New York City, hope, hoping to beat the crap out of two motherfuckers and have that go on this three-way dance of ultra-violent destiny, uh, but it was not to be. It was still an all right match. We yes. still got it on, uh, but it didn't, uh, it didn't have the fireworks or the, uh, the violence level that I, I, I think all three of us uh, anticipated. Well, I, I think or Aubrey Edwards is too damn good. <laughs> I think Aubrey Edwards could could speak for everybody. Her facial expressions in that match were unbelievable because I've never seen stuff like that in my life, and I'm sure she hasn't. And uh, just a hardcore way. Would you would 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 it ever be um, um, a match again? Nick Gage versus Green Phantom in the IWS? Could we could we see it one, I, I one would, more time? I would I would love for that to happen, but I'm not sure he's allowed into Canada. Oh, okay. I think he's. Uh, <laughs> So if any promoters uh, down south, I would. Uh, but Nick Gage is the hottest item out there right now, man. He's the hottest item. So it would be a dream of mine to uh, to 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 be in the ring with him again. You know, I mean, it could happen. Um, who knows? But you I mean, just never I, know. Yeah. I, I mean, but, but back to that match. You know, it was it was, a, it was an honor to be in the ring with those two gentlemen. And uh, you know there was still some violence in there. For those of you who haven't seen it, it's still it's still maybe worth a watch. Uh, you know, I did uh, stick a fork in Tremont's head and carve him up pretty good. And I, 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 I left with uh, with with Tremont's blood all over me. So in some in some regards, it uh, it was a successful outing. Is there is there ever a chance? Because I, I remember there was a there was a post on Instagram a couple of months ago that uh, you guys uh, you and uh, Jeremy Prophet. We're bickering against each other, and uh, I'd love to see it one more time, even though you guys have fought probably thousands of times, but I'd love to see it now, 2021. I would love to see it. What do you think about Jeremy Prophet? I, I think he's one of the best in the game, man. He's, uh, he's His promos, every time I get him, they, 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 every time I see him, they, they, they feel like they get better and better sometimes. And uh, in the ring, I, uh, I had the pleasure of watching uh, his last uh, last match there in the tag team uh, Hit him in the, the the black Quebecois against the uh, the Tabernacle the team, and that was uh, just fantastic work on his part. So uh, so I would love to bash his fucking face in any time uh, you want, man. That'd be that'd be great. I'd love to stomp on his face and slam him through tables and uh, and have a good match. Those uh, the, the two co-main events uh, that night is uh, we have uh, Speedball Mike Bailey is going to be in in the main event. Do you, do you think he he's going to be in that? What what is your predictions for for that match? And of course the uh, the ladder wars match uh, on, uh, on this Saturday. I, yeah, so uh, I, I don't know much about the other card because I was like I said before, open up your ears, oh. damn it! <laughs> that uh, I'm just focusing on one thing, so I don't have time to focus on the other competitors' matches. Thanks for asking. Uh, I don't even know. Matt Angel. Uh, I mean, uh, what? Who, who's he facing? You know, probably some other kid. If I got both of them in the ring, I'd rip their fucking necks off and take that belt myself. But I got other things to think about. Thank you very much. <laughs> but other, other than that, is there somebody in the IWS you think that, that's on the rise right now? One of the the young guns right now that, that you maybe haven't wrestled? Who, who, who everyone should be looking out for in the future in the IWS? Well, you asked me about, uh, you know, Prophet, uh, Black Dynamite, uh, his tag team partner. Uh, he's been, uh, he, he's young enough in that game, and uh, he's a big man. Uh, maybe he's too big. Maybe I should bring him down to size a little bit, put him through a table or two, uh, make him understand about getting with the green. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he hasn't yet. Uh, maybe that's a lesson that has to be taught to him one day. We'll see. Because uh, if you get into the IWS, uh, I believe that one of the uh, roads you must travel is that hardcore green highway that is Green Phantom. I'm a staple here. I am the avenue you must walk uh, to call yourself a real uh, wrestler within the IWS, a real part of the roster. So there's a few guys that, that need to taste that uh, taste that green licking, if you will. Uh What's that guy? You, I think you just mentioned him before. Uh, before we got here, pa Patterson. Zach Maybe Patterson, I'm, yeah. 
maybe I should stomp his chest to pieces. Maybe I should uh, phantasm him, uh, make him realize who's in charge here, brother. But uh, he looks like a million bucks, doesn't he? He looks, he looks good, honestly. He looks the part. He plays the part. He's a good wrestler in the ring. The future, w- w- let's see what the future holds for him. Maybe you could get a couple of wins here coming yeah. up uh, at uh, Scar for Life. But other than that, um, I but, noticed that... But you got to know... That, uh, uh, what's that? Sorry, I, I was going to say, you got to notice that uh, a lot of the young talent um, doesn't want to come into my world. They don't want to get into the ring with me. I <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right now, I'll just say the, 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 like, the, like, the, the two main title holders, uh, I can't blame them uh, for not having crossed my path yet uh, because I would be scared as well. And, and, to, and, and what, what I noticed, you had, two, you had two doors slash tables out there. They were, they were, um, did somebody do those tables for you with the graphics and everything with them? The yeah, yeah. Pretty uh, cool, yeah. This great, this great fan, uh, out, I think he's in the Ottawa area. Okay. Uh, he he uh, he brings these doors and he makes wow. some nice art. Uh, if you check it on my Instagram, I, I took a picture of, of them. Uh, yeah, uh, they, and it's it's my favorite type of art uh, that is built and made pretty <clears throat> for the sole purpose of being broken and smashed to pieces. <laughs> I, I, I I truly think that's a, a unique thing of art, and uh, and a lot of times with the Green Phantom, you you combine you know the art with with whatever art I am, whatever message I have, you know, uh, I just, I love that fan art stuff. Uh, I, over I, the years, I've gotten so much of it and bashed and broken so much fan art. It's just fantastic. I'm going to, I'm going to put up, pull up a clip from that, from that event too here. This is when you pull out the table green, here. Green, green, that's, green. that's, that's me cheering there. So. <laughs> the fans love that shit. Uh, amazing. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. That's you, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, oh, I, 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 I thought you were going to go through the table here. You saw that, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. I thought wrong. I thought wrong. <laughs> this is great. I'm, uh, I'm glad you finally got to experience it on the show. Brother, uh, it, was, it was a, it was a, it was an okay one for to be at first. Thank you, Green, 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 green. Those green, chops. Green. This was a phantasm, baby. Oh like God! Oh, oh man! Oh. <laughs> The crowd was loving it. The best part about this is that it's not over. <laughs> People love it so much. Why not give it up? <laughs> and you can't say anything about me, but I'm a crowd pleaser, brother. Unbelievable, man. Honestly, man, like, I, I, I was just like... Why do you think I got such a great entrance? Because they love this shit. I unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. So if there was one... If there was... The matches this Saturday between you and Matt Falco, number one contendership is on the line. Throw your shot at him. What do you... What do you what's the last thing you got to tell him before we, we, hit the, we hit the match on Saturday? Thanks for making the best mistake of your life, brother. It's going to work out well for me. I really appreciate this opportunity. And I'm sorry that this opportunity will be will be will be taken away from you to give to me because you're a, kind of a stand-up guy for giving me this shot. But it sucks to be you, brother. <laughs> Get with the green. <laughs> Is there an over/under? Or how many tables you're going to be bringing out that night, or uh, you're going to keep I that mean, a secret? Whatever is there, brother. It's a street <laughs> fight. Uh, AWS management hopefully will provide me with plenty of furniture and plenty of lumber and chairs to break. On this guy's fucking face. So I hope everybody's excited about this Saturday. IWS, Scarred for Life. Green Phantom is going to be taking on Matt Falco for the number one contendership for the Canadian Championship belt. And I hope you're going to be there. Tickets are still on sale. Hope to see you there. Green Phantom, can you tell everybody where they can find you on social media? Of course. If you're not an idiot, you're already following me. But if you aren't, well, Green Phantom 514 
on the Instagram and Green Phantom on Facebook and uh, something on Twitter. I hardly ever use it, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm just too old school, but, you know, it's there somewhere. <laughs> Contact me. Buy my merch. Come see the IWS. Best show in town, brother. Get with the green. Fucking yeah. right, man. I want to thank you, Green Phantom, for coming. I'll be there this Saturday watching you win that match. And everybody out there, I hope to see you there, too. And remember, wrestling is life.